guys. <laughs> Instant lighter. What do you want this time? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot your music, Max. What does it go like again? Say hello. <laughs> you want a question for your head? Oh. Yes, he likes oh. Jurassic Park. I think with that we can now start the video. So hello and welcome back to another toy unboxing video on the regular. There's a lot of them now on the channel. It's your best part of the weekend, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. You tell me. A apparently not. According to Whitney, it's not. But maybe today's episode will be because we don't actually have the first time ever that this toy has been shown, or at least this species of dinosaur. In fact, in the Kenner line, Jurassic Park line, there was this exact species of dinosaur, although it was like a series two one, so it meant it was, it was a lot rare. We have it actually in the first wave of Dominion. So introducing is a beautiful assistant. <laughs> Whoa! Flying into frame! The Quetzal! Okay, and go across now, Whitney. Get a close up of this! Yeah, money shop! Yeah, look at that. The Quetzal! <laughs> This is the new big pteranodon that we've seen in the trailer, nesting at the top of some sort of big building in New York, as well as, I don't know, attacking a plane. So there's definitely at least two of them, and probably more if they're nesting, and there's gonna be more in the future. And we see it in its lovely amber and T-Rex kind of uh, breakout thing there. So let's get it out of the box, shall we? Oh, there you go. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you find it funny, with it? It's fine. It's like uh, it's like I've just caught it or something. What do you want? You want the head? Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at it. So a flyer. So you've got some. Yeah, we we'll get a lot of close-ups to this one. I think you've got a bit that lifts up. And what's in the lift up bit? Oh, it's the DNA code. Look at that. Da -da 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 da. There you go. Yeah, two seconds to get that one. <laughs> you have to buy it. Well, we have some action features. Oh, he has a little mouthy mouth on the underneath. So if we have a look at the underside here, you got one button to push and that makes the mouth go. And on the top, you got a button here and that means it hits you in the face, apparently. <laughs> and actually, ooh, you've got like opposable legs. That's interesting. Hello, Hello my baby. baby. Hello, Hello my... Gow. So it has a rotate rotisserie neck. And what's interesting about it is its wings. Now, we've had some really nice pteranodons in the past that have had wings made, made of fabric or, you know, just permanent wings that are like solid. Um, but we've seen this style of wing uh, previously when it was actually Hasbro, when they had the Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon. So I'm a bit worried about this. Maybe we'll get some sort of colossal Quetzal. Who can really tell? Hopefully not, because the wings on that would be absolutely ginormous. I thought what would be interesting would be to compare it to some previous Pteranodons that we've had. One in particular that uh, actually, I think, may give this one a run for its money. <laughs> Introducing! No, 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 stop. No, we don't need you. The Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon. Does it, does it still make sounds? I'd be very impressed if it still makes sounds. <laughs> wow, look at you. 2003, was it? A one? God knows, it was probably 20 odd years ago now. Bring spans around about the same size. In fact, actually Jurassic Park 3 is a bit bigger than it. The wings itself are completely solid and have, are able, well, I'd say they're able to sort of flex almost all the way down and all nice. the way up as well as it having electronics. It also has, uh, I know we're supposed to be reviewing the quest, but let, let's, let's just see how, how much better this is actually. And then you have a react attack. And as well as that, it can also sort of move its feet, just like the Quetzalcoatlus can. The reason why I'm saying this, and we're sort of making the comparison to a Jurassic Park 3 Pterandon, is that they are pretty much the same. 
They both are completely made of solid plastic, they have rotating legs, their heads move, their mouths open, but just the Jurassic Park 3 one is a little bit better. That's the only sad thing when it comes to something like this, a Quetzalcoatl, it has so much going for it, it is absolutely ginormous, it's one of the biggest Trandons that we've ever had, and I was kind of hoping for something special. If I'm really gonna be honest, I don't feel like we have a great deal here. I mean, the sculpt is great, but I feel like the Trandons in the Jurassic franchise have always tried to do something different. You're like, like I said, the Quetzalcoatl, so I'll put up an image of it because I definitely don't have that because it cost a fortune. Um, I had fabric win wings, I should say, and that was in Jurassic Park. And here we are in Jurassic Dominion in the final movie, and we have, you know, Quetzalcoatls, again, something that, you know, it's accurate-ish, and it's the big reveal that was shown in all the trailers, and I can't really say that I'm in love with the paint scheme or the application. If you get some good looks at it, if you look at the brown bit in the wing here, you zoom into that, it's not as much a paint job as it is just a paint mistake. It looks like a smudge. And even if you look at the other wing, you've got this bit here. I mean, yeah, I guess it makes every uh, Quetzalcoatl unique, but... And when I was a kid and um, there was a Tyrannodon, in fact, I'll go get it. Look at the quality that we had in Jurassic Park 3. Completely made out of foam, but it could fly. Fly straight down the ground, it can. No, oh, what really what we want to look at is this. Now bear in mind, kind of uh, lost a wing, as as you might uh, quite clearly see. Uh, but the paint application on this thing is actually really nice, and it's it's got that sinister Jurassic Park three Pteranodon look to it. This is the start of when we have these wings that are foldable. Now I guess for transport it kind of makes sense because you could just put it fold it in like that. It's kind of obvious what the problem is here. They're easy to fall apart. We have the same thing going on here, and I just get the feeling that even when I was a kid. You know, it's turned into some sort of Star Wars uh, fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I was a kid and I saw this, I, even I was like, oh, come on, man. Could you not just make it a solid wing like this, for instance? Like, when it came to this, I would have been happy with it, but it, they had to fold it to make sure that it fit in the little blister packs that they sort of came in with the uh, the other characters. Uh, first impressions for the Quetzal is kind of like... Eh? Even when we look at the, the feet of the Quetzal, of course, we've got the classic toenails on painted there. You know, the Jurassic Park 3, the smaller one, it's actually got clasp. No, oh my god, it actually has painted toenails. I did not expect this thing to have painted toenails. Jesus, he's showing, he's showing them up. <laughs> this is the, the way the feet are, they're clasped. So what you could do, and it came with Eric, Eric Kirby from Jurassic Park 3, and you would put him in it, it would sort of like fly and carry him. Whereas I feel as if I get any character from, you know, this the new franchise, it's not gonna work. But there's only one way to find out, because we have so many Jurassic World Dominion toys right now. I'll be the cameraman now. Tell me about that, this person. Remember, you don't have a microphone on you. You're gonna have to yell. This is Claire. Yes. She is small. She likes to have the gun in hand. Boyfriend comes along. Boyfriend? I'm offering you an ultimatum. <laughs> and he goes, I don't want to get married. And he goes, I want to get married. Well, we're going on the show. And she goes, I don't want to go on the show. And he goes, well, you don't have a choice. And they go on the show. They hook it out. But, but Owen has a utility tool. And then he pulls out the utility tool gun and, and then she gives him the <laughs> transmitter. I've got the utility tool now. All I did was offer you an ultimatum and I just want to get married. And she was like, well, I don't want to marry you, so I'm ultimating you with this. <laughs> with this knife. Aha! I, I don't have to get married today. La 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 la. <laughs> Gonna ride on my Quetzalcoatlus. Shining, shimmering, splendor. <laughs> you know what I really like? Garbage day. Ah! Right, okay, so here we go. We've got Claire and we've got, oh look, Claire's already got an arm ready. Oh, does her other arm not bend? Oh no, it does. It does bend, it's just a bit stiff. Ready to be picked up, pose from the Quetzal. So the Quetzal comes along and Quetzal, Oh, yes, actually, it kind of does. It would have been better, like more of a, a clutch kind of claw from the Quetzal. And as far as scale goes, uh, I mean, it's a little bit on the small side, I think, but yeah, I, I, I can see that working. Ah, go, 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 go. So, separate day, apologies, but 
I had this realization once I had a look at this parrot, because I'm like, why do I not like it? I should like it, it's my favorite dinosaur. Um, for a saw, I think I mentioned about the feet, but Winnie, get it, get it, zoom into its face. Look at that face. What is that? What, what does that look like to you? <laughs> does that look like a parrot? I did it. I think that's the reason why I don't like this. <laughs> From the side, I guess it's it's not too bad. That, that looks quite nice. But then it's the more you put it turning different. <laughs> The more it just becomes this balloon. Now, if we compare this to the Lost World para, they not only had painted toenails, but also painted uh, fingernails, which this one's lacking. Like from the side profile, I think this, the, the actual John Hammond collection para, looks more like screen accurate, but I just can't get over its front. I, I, I think that's the main thing that's not working for me. Also, just generally the color scheme. Look at this. Look at this with the lost one. It's so good. It can run. Although it makes like a really, hold on. Where, where, where is it making noise? Is it here? There you go. Its batteries are very weak, but it kind of does actually have electronics in it and stuff. And I think I'm just used to this one. I'm used to the proportions. The tail is actually around about the same length. Yeah. I guess this, you know, this one's better for standing because it can actually pose itself rather than this one, which is just permanently stuck in this position, which means that it could never stand, unfortunately. Back to the actual video. Can you capture the Quetzalcoatlus? In the Jeep is the question. All right, we're running over. It's dead. Pick it up by the neck. Can we do it? Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta get better at this. We're going to Japan. We've got to get good at gacha games. Damn it. Come on, come on. Oh, I see the problem. It's wings getting a bit stuck. We'll have to move it around this way. No! That doesn't look too bad when it does that, that pose. It's like it's zooming down. There you go. You know what? Yeah, you can kind of get it in there. But it doesn't really stay very well. We have human characters. Can we stick Claire and Owen in the Jeep? Let's compare it to the Therizinosaurus for scale. The new dinosaur, toy and everything, it's electronic. And the same with the T-Rex, you know, that's electronic. We're gonna get a Giga, that'll be electronic. And then we have the Quetzal, which isn't electronic and really feels like it got the, the small end of the development stick. Slash! I love that when they do the size comparison or like size charts, they put the Quetzal like this. Me! <laughs> So, there you have it, Quetzalcoatlus. Overall, I'm gonna give it a six or seven out of 10. Probably more like a six. Like it's all right, but I was kind of hoping for more after we've had such nice looking uh, Pteranodons in previous toy lines, like the Pteranodon in the Lost World or even the Quetzalcoatlus in Jurassic Park, both made by Kenner. Both had fabric-y wings, could fold on their wings, had an action feature to splay out and flap, had like a mouth that would like snap shut and stuff. Then the quite pick up beta is the question. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da yeah! Wow! If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until the next unboxing video, I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>